Hello, I'm going to do a very simple tutorial on how to use if-else statements. Um, I've just created a little GUI interface with a button and a few checkboxes just to uh, show you how it's done. And an if-else statement uh, uses what are known as bool values, which can evaluate to either true or false. So we're just going to create a quick bool value. Name it whatever we want. We'll just set it to true for now. And if you create one and you don't set it to anything, it'll set it to true automatically. But I just like to set it there. And then we do if. So we can just do if and then just do bool value. Or we can do if bool value equals true. Doesn't matter. Then we do two brackets, then else. Two more brackets. So if bool value equals true. <clears throat> it's going to execute all the code in between these two brackets and if it doesn't equal true it's going to execute all the code in these two brackets um, and you can also put other things in there such as if you create an int i that equals 100 you can have do if i is greater than 50 then it'll execute all the code in here but if we did if i is greater than 150 it's going to execute all the code in here because that evaluates to a false statement um, so we're going to make this a little bit more complicated by using the checkboxes we have. Checkbox hello and checkbox angry. So if checkbox hello is checked, then we're just going to display a message that says hello. Else we're going to display a message uh, that says checkbox not checked. We're not going to worry about the other checkbox at the moment. Hello? Checkbox not checked. Just a very simple way to prove the if else statement. And there's also another uh, kind of if else statement like that's known as else if. And, uh,. Just go ahead and fill this in. What this will do is if this evaluates to false, it will check the else if statement and see if it evaluates for true before it goes to else. So basically like this evaluates to false, this will evaluate to true, okay execute all the code in here. But if this evaluates to false, this evaluates to false, okay execute all the code in the else statement. Alright, we'll just show you how that works out. So if I do hello, it's going to say hello. If I do I hate you, it's going to say I hate you. If I do neither, it's going to be do checkbox not checked. But what do you think will happen if I do both of them? Because the checkbox hello.checked is before the checkbox angry.checked and it's an else if, if I just change this to if, it would display both of them. But since it's an else if, it's only going to display the hello. But if I go ahead and end this and change this to an if hello I hate you it'll split both of them and that's just a very simple very simple impl implementation of if else statements if you'd like to learn a little bit more about them just uh, leave a message and I'll do a more detailed tutorial on them or if you'd like to learn anything else about C Sharp Visual Studio 2008 uh, leave a message make sure to subscribe to my videos and uh, visit my website and my forums, which is in my description. This is Quackware signing out.